do you know what you believe? A, uh, another point brought up by uh, Dr. John Peterson. And he added, because it's a strange world, and how our words at times cannot properly communicate um, certain things. And, and I'm still marinating on that because now, as we see that I'm drawing on this hard surface here, you know, we think it's, uh, it's solid. And I believe there's more uh, space in it than, uh, than matter. And I forget the you know, technical terms of um, whether it's a molecule or an element, neutron, protons, whether it's a carbon based or um, what elements are involved and um, science behind it, but it's something like, an, I'm not sure if it's an atom proton or a neutron around it and and with all the space that goes from the, the center of it you know that's um, to me that's my ignorance, ignorance right there you know because I would think that uh, and it's possible to, I think it's one in several billion. If I keep on doing this, the time will come eventually where my fingers will be able to go right through it. Something about the randomness of, uh, of its structure being um, compromised. At uh, specific times, so the idea that there's uh, just a, that I'm drawing on a bunch of space that feels uh, again solid. What the hell does that have to do with drawing? Like uh, anything in life, for myself, I like to think, uh, why do I believe that? Why do I think that? Why do I want to keep? Why do I want to keep on drawing? Why do I love big booty bitches? That's probably the least of my concerns. Uh, I think. Uh, Loving big booty bitches is a thing that I'll just accept and uh, let that happen. But, uh, you know, why, why don't I just quit? Why don't I just uh, get a plain 9 to 5 that's uh, going to give me my 401k racket money? And um, I no longer have to stress out and talk shit. Stress out about um, what am I going to sketch or draw next? or keep on talking shit about um, to a lot of people and instead become warm and fuzzy like everybody else <laughs> and uh, Dr. M. Peterson gave me the, well, revealed the answer a bit in some words where in deciding uh, what sort of person do you want to become you know you don't want to be a fucking straight out fucking weenie and be like oh I just want to be happy you know 
Don't talk bad stuff. Don't talk politics over here. Don't talk religion right here. Let's just... Let's just be cool, man. Let's have a drink. Enjoy the corona. Come on. Nah. No, no, no. If there's dog shit... <laughs> um, right here where we're eating, where we're barbecuing, where we're hanging out, where we want to um, play footy. I think we should... Uh, Remove the dog shit. No, but no, no, but don't, don't do that because then that could hurt people's feelings. And, uh, you know, some people are surprised by the, the rise of Trump. Um, I'm not. I doubted that he was going to become president. I thought we had uh, too many supervised, s s supervised, too many uh, pussified motherfuckers that would have led to him, uh, that would have uh, kept them from being voted in. And I'm talking about make America great again. I'm talking about what to me is the obvious Muslim threat, Muslim scum, death cult threat. And do I know, do I understand what I believe? Uh, for me, I'm, I'm still working on that. Uh, Also to uh, keep myself in check that I'm not uh, simply going along with peer pressure or shortcuts and things. Because I did that a lot, especially um, throughout high school and teenage years. But because uh, that was normal, you know, just young and dumb. And I thought, nah, no, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a bad excuse. I think that's, a, that's an excuse for poor parenting, poor mentorship. Um, at times, I don't want to say that I want to give up, but uh, relax a little bit more and say, you know, there's no real rush in um, becoming, um, into building my own Scrooge McDuck um, money bin. <laughs> Always uh, got a cake out of him, diving into his fucking money. that uh, people are capable of um, pulling themselves up by their own bootstraps. And uh, to enjoy um, the essence of tea, of breakfast in the morning, of um, stop and smell the roses. I don't mean to either slack off either, too. No, not that. Definitely not that. I forget how Dr. Jordan Peterson had put it something like, uh, to aim to become as good as possible, to 
contribute to that. In the back of my mind, I've uh, had that uh, that message uh, distorted in the back of my mind for much of my life. And because I believed that, oh, it's the weekend. Let's go party. Let's go shoot too. Let's go get drunk. Let's go barbecue. Come on, dog. Get your um, little pitching. Let's just drink it up. And I thought, ah. That's not, um, I felt, um, uh, incomplete. I felt, uh, why, why doesn't this feel right? Excuse me. It's the, it's the age. It's flaring up. <laughs> I remember uh, Patrice O'Neill had said that. I thought it was funny. I think we do that here. I think that's what we also get um, because we don't know or study what we believe. Many of us fall um, fall to the lies of, let's say, to the evil scumbag uh, Hillary Clinton. Yeah, 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 she's not president. You know, say that to the... Um, to the Haitians that uh, went through that... Uh, through that hurricane and uh, they pocketed uh, billions and they you know how would you feel if you uh, had money to um, rebuild your home or get a home because of a uh, natural disaster because you're really out yeah you know and I've never been to Haiti I don't think I have any fucking Haitians on my fucking, um, in my cell phone. Um, I won't lose any sleep that there's, uh, homeless Haitians and poverty. Nope. But, um, I still think that it's wrong for, um, people to rob motherfuckers like that. And the people will say, uh, no, no, it's a misunderstanding, you know, she's, she's, she's the first lady. And, um, you gotta trust her, man, don't be so, um, don't be so pessimistic. The, um, the death of Seth Rich, the murder of Seth Rich, seems more like a hit. 
with um, you know supposedly a foiled robbery but uh, his cell phone or his wallet were not taken um, the leaker to WikiLeaks that um, showed the corruption of uh, Hillary and her gang Hillary and her cartel Corruption of the DNC. And uh, because we believe that many of us don't know what we believe. Nobody say I'm a Democrat. You see, um, we mean good. You know, Republicans, they just want to, you know, keep all the money with the rich. Um, who doesn't want to be rich? Do we, is that how we, we reward hard work? No, you see, you, imagine if, um, um, let's say you're an art student, right? Or you're, you're also on an artistic journey of capitalism like myself. And uh, you're putting in more hours than me, more time than me, more dedication, more studying, more sketching, more drawing, more redrawing. Into um, making shirt designs, uh, coffee mugs, um, fucking posters, uh, a lot of shit, okay? And you fucking whatever, you make over a million dollars a year. And someone who just wants to smoke weed says, no, that's, you don't need that money. You, you you only have one kid and one one wife. It's like, no, give me that money. And, uh, going all over the road, not trying to shade this here. I think, uh, see, misinformation from those that uh, occupy Wall Street. Now, Bernie Sanders is the man, dog. You know, I guess should, uh, give me your money. Because, uh, I don't care if you work so much, it's like, you know, um, I'm poor too, and like, if I'm poor, that means, um, some way, somehow, you know, you're taking advantage of other people, yo. Fuck that. We start believing other people's agendas. You know that piece of shit, uh, multi-billionaire George Soros, who wants to um, destabilize society by funding the Black Lives Matter movement and saying, uh, "No, if the cops pull you over." It's not because you're a suspect of a crime, it's because of racism. I've been pulled over many times by cops. Many times. I'm telling you about the last time somewhere in Texas and I thought, fuck. I'm on the fucking dark street. Out of state plates. Eat the bus. 
I was like, if I could just make it to a, a well-lit area, so uh, that motherfucker knows that he's safe because. Uh, so I was looking for a 7-Eleven through the uh, GPS and uh, found one, but the maps were a little off because it was a railroad track around there with a U-turn and a dead end and uh, one-way street. And, So I was just uh, driving slowly and checking my phone. And the cops saw that I was driving slowly in the fucking dark street. And uh, he pulled me over and uh, kept the lights on, turned the car off, stuck my hands out the window with the keys in my hand. And before I say anything else, I said, do you know where the uh, 7-Eleven is at around here? <coughs> I'm lost. Without asking me for my driver's license, ID, or insurance, or anything like that, he says, oh, no problem, man. Look, um, make a left on this street. But you're coming up, and it'll be about half a mile on your left side. Easily, I could have um, <coughs> I could have said something like, "You know, I'm from California. Um, I did nothing wrong here. I wasn't check. I wasn't looking at my phone while I was driving. What do you want?" I said, "All right, cool." Good to go, good to go. All right, well, I didn't pull your word for that. They pulled your word for impeding the flow of traffic. You were going um, 10 miles an hour in a 25 mile zone. And the dude could hit me for that. But instead, it was straight out. I hit him with the eight, hey, fucker. Where's the 7 Eleven at? And no doubt that there are bad cops. I'm not saying that all of them are fucking saints, nor that all of them are honorable, no. <coughs> Some of them will uh, hesitate. Take your time going to a fucking shootout, to a dangerous neighborhood. I want to go home. I just want to retire, man. Search the suspect down poorly and let them come along with fucking weapons and this other motherfucker says oh it's a fucking Mexican he looks like this he looks like that suspect I bet you that's him he looks like the bully he looks like the guy that took my bitch <laughs> he took my girlfriend man and my girlfriend cheated on me with someone like that it probably was him and uh It'd be like me saying something like, oh my god, uh, I could get that attitude by simply saying something like, oh my god, it's, you guys are not, um, are not paying me for this channel, for these drawings, it's like, you guys just want me to draw here for free. <coughs> um. Pay me, pay me, or else I'll stop. No, I'm gonna increase the price of my joints. So you know what? No, it's better that it's finished. I'm just gonna make a solid red line here and just finish it because you know I, I deserve money. I put so much time into this. I, I deserve money. Come on, I deserve it. Give me. All sorts of attitudes. Man, they, they disgust me, they disappoint me, they anger me.
confuse me because I think if you were to see me <laughs> where I'm at right now, the way I'm dressed, the way I look, my physical build, my high school diploma, he'd be like, and, and that's all he knew about me. He'd be like, I bet you this guy works at um, Taco Bell. This dude probably um, maybe is earning 11, 12, 13 bucks an hour. <coughs> you know, what does he know about life, you know? But uh, no, I, I choose not to be that, man. I choose not to be that. And I. And I keep on speaking about these things because I, I just don't want to see you motherfuckers going through the same trap because there are people that um, build their own hell. Oh my goodness, it's like this. No, it shouldn't be like this. And, and, and they design it. They put up the brick and mortar for their hell, for their prison. And um, they're like, no, I don't deserve this. But they uh, choose not to uh, hold themselves responsible. And, no, I just want to clear shit like that up because uh, no, it's ineffective, man. There's so much great stuff out there in the world. You know, you go out there, pursue it, make it happen, go forward. No excuses.